So the first thing that you want to do is go to Google, of course. Like, that's the most basic thing. It's telling me to set Google as default. Now nah, I'm good. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Google and search for, what do you think I'm going to say? Parrot OS. That's correct. So search up Parrot OS. Go to Parrot Security. So once you go to Parrot Security, let me just go full screen here. Might take a little while depending on your internet connection or internet speed. Okay, here we go. So we just go to download. Click this button down here where it says download. Now, once you get to this page, it has three options, live, virtual, or IoT. We want to click virtual because we, we are going to install VirtualBox. Uh, we're going to install a virtual machine image. I'll explain what that is later. So we can go ahead and click virtual. There's two options here. We're going to do security because we want to be a penetration tester. We want to be a hacker, okay? We want to we want to work for anonymous, right? We, we want to carry... No, I'm just kidding. Just forget about that. Um, let's, let's click security. Let's join anonymous. All right. Okay. Anyways. So we got two, right? We can, we click arm or AMD. So we can see here, we've got another two options. We've got AMD or arm. Well, my arm's right here, but anyways, uh, we've no, but this is for arm architecture. Anyways, that's node stuff. We just want to get to the hacking. So we've got AMD 64. If you're on a Windows computer, I would suggest, obviously, number one, this is what you do. Uh, if you're on a MacBook, this is for ARM architecture. But ideally, if you're on a Windows computer, a Windows machine, go ahead and click AMD 64. Now, it's going to lead you to this page, which is obviously the final page. It says Security Edition. It contains a complete arsenal of ready-to-use pen testing tools. That's great, because like I said, I want to be a hacker. I want to be an ethical hacker. I want to wear a hoodie with a mask, okay? I want to just say I'm in and just turn on my own webcam. Come on. That's just the best thing. Oh, what happened? All right, let me go back. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's click download VirtualBox. Let's click VirtualBox. Let's download that. Is it me or is it not downloading? All right. So it is downloading. There we go. It says Parrot Security AMD OVA. Now, it's probably not going to look like anything for you. So the, the second step is this. You want to go to... Google and search up virtual box. So once you've searched up virtual box, click this link here. You can go to downloads, so just click download and you'll be led to this page. Now, once you get to this page of virtual box, we want to click windows hosts. So what is virtual box? Virtual box is a virtualization software. What does that mean? It basically means think of it like this. It's a computer inside a computer. Think of it like this. You've got your main machine and then you've got a virtual machine. Whatever you do on the virtual machine will not affect your physical machine, your physical disk. So this is why it's a recommendation. It's a suggestion to have a virtualized environment so that when you do your hacking, your penetration testing, everything is contained within that environment and that environment alone and that virtual environment so that whatever happens in that environment, like if something breaks, it doesn't affect your main operating system. So you don't need to worry about that. So that's exactly what this means. So we can see here, we've got two files downloading. Now, if you don't have a mega boss internet connection like mine, then you're just going to have to stick with your slow crappy network. Okay. So that's, that sounds like a you problem. Anyways, VirtualBox is downloading. We've got VirtualBox downloading. Okay. VirtualBox has successfully downloaded. You know, that was like 10 seconds. I'm not flexing, but damn. Anyways, so what we want to do is click VirtualBox. We want to install VirtualBox. So just go through the installation. I don't, I don't think I need to show you this really. Just click yes. Go ahead and follow the installation. It's going to say preparing to install. Click next. Accept. Yes. Just click next and just click yes and just click yes and just click next and just click install so once you've done that well we're just waiting for this to download which is going to take 20 hours I, I don't think i don't like i said i don't think i have mega boss internet anyways um so we got parrot security it's downloading um it's going to take a little while i'm not sure why it's taking long for me because dude come on anyways that's going to go ahead and download i will see you then just remember that our password for Parrot logging into the Parrot box is Parrot Parrot. So once you have VirtualBox installed, I already had it installed. If you, I just went through the, the process with you again. So what's the next step, Declan? Well, the next step is this. Go ahead and open up your file explorer. Just type in file explorer. We can see here that VirtualBox has downloaded. 
Right, so we already installed VirtualBox. We've got VirtualBox installed, so we don't need the installer uh, anymore. We don't need the installer. The next step is this. Go to your location of where you've downloaded the Parrot Security OVA image. And what you want to do is just double click it. So literally just double click it and just select your virtualization software, VirtualBox, and click always. So now it's gonna open this pre-built VM. And if we just say finish, we can actually go ahead and run Parrot OS. So what is a pre-built virtual machine? Well, it's just a virtual machine image that we can run without actually needing to kind of reinstall it or go through the installation process. Everything is just packaged together. Everything's just pre-installed. So we can just go ahead and run it, just start using it, which is brilliant. So let's get started. So we can actually see there it says importing and there we go. Successfully, it has imported. It's imported successfully. One thing I would recommend is if you do want to change your virtual machine settings, for this image you can do that so if you right click it and uh, go to settings you tick click settings you can change the amount of base memory that you want to give it uh, you can even have a bridged network adapter connection so you can go through any settings that you want here you can increase the video memory if you really want to and increase whatever you what else you can even increase the storage if you want more space on it uh, but anyways we don't need to do that so once you've opened it just double click it and you've got Parrot OS running successfully it says powering up VM, this is what you should see. And we have successfully loaded Parrot OS. So now if we press enter, your mouse might not show up for a second. So once you click it and you load into this virtual machine, you probably drag around your mouse and you realize that you can't see it. Okay, well I can now for some reason. Okay, there we go. So we can just see here it's loading and wow, look at that. So we've got Parrot OS running on our virtual machine. And now all I need to do is probably buy a anonymous mask and that's it. We, we in. All right, let's get started. Let's, let's put on our hoodies. Like we've already, we've just done it. Anyways, here we go. So now that's it. Look at that. Go full screen. You can click view full screen so you're probably wondering why is our screen not full screen on the virtual machine uh it's because we need to change that in the virtual machine settings itself in the parrot os operating system uh if you get this question it says do you want to check for updates just click yes so that we can have our updates uh on a regular basis and if you do this it's going to say authentication is needed so what is the password the password is parrot so for this pre-built virtual machine, it's called Parrot. So your username and password for this virtual machine is called Parrot because it's Parrot OS. We can see here that it's just updating from the uh, repository mirror that it has here. We don't need to look at this. It's actually just updating packages on your operating system on the Parrot OS operating system. It might take a little while for you depending on your internet speed. Uh, we can just leave that running in the background. So we can actually see here, it's just updating stuff, but let's actually go to preference. So, so go to system, go to preferences, go to hardware and go to displays. Once you do that, you might see this. Uh, you should see this. All you want to do is click resolution, scroll to the top, go to 1920 times 1080 and click apply. And now we are full screen. It says keep this configuration. Yes. And just close. Now we have a full screen sized Parrot OS operating system virtual machine running on our main computer now we can start hacking literally we can run hack the box we can open up hack the box we can you know start doing a ctf we have parrot os installed we have parrot os running on our virtual box environment now we can do our pen testing we can learn ethical hacking we can become an ethical hacker we can play around with metasploit sql map learn and grow so that's amazing right we can even click the drop down menu here we can go to pen testing look at all these hacking tools look at all these penetration testing tools if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and most importantly comment parrot os if you are going to start using parrot os thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next